Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria! Hungry. So, we have started this episode today again with some awesome news. Our empire is not falling apart. And let's see, is anyone back? Let's see. Okay, okay, I gotta think, since Netherlands backed the Russians, I gotta think of this logically. If I were to join this, who would be on my side? Because I don't think I'm exactly liked by anyone right now. Except for Russia. <laughs> so, I basically, yeah, I don't... I mean, we try to get relationships up with our good friends, uh, the Frenchies, but they obviously... Uh... Yeah, it, the Frenchies, I try to become friends with the Frenchies, but the Frenchies just don't like me enough. Like, every time I try forming relationships, it's just like, nah, we're not going to be friends, but nah, I, I don't think I'm going to back this crisis. Um, and hopefully no one else will. Uh, no, I'm just going to decline it. No, I'm not in this crisis. Yay, no one accepted that crisis. Good, because that crisis is going to be stupid. All right. So let's go also increase a fort level here so we can get two natural force oh gee outputs yay all right and our state right now is insanely rebellious which is annoying me to no end and i already know i do have some kind of rebellion going on on my islands i'm gonna have to go send in prop a proper army to go deal with it because apparently somehow i get militancy over there so let's go send our people over here and go deal with it all and then from there we're gonna go send them back and then we're gonna go fight a lot of stuff the Jacobson rebels wow they just really keep trying to what do you guys want and if you guys say trade unions I'm definitely still not giving it to you guys okay J there's two <laughs> there's two hoarders of the Jacobson rebels okay let's see campaign no yeah you guys get back down there you guys get back down there I'm not giving you guys free trade unions I've always said that like six times. I'm not giving you guys it. You, you guys you guys get to have trade unions. Just be glad I gave you guys that. Okay, go crush everyone. Unit. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh great. I'm going to lose Cardinalist Spain. Yep, I'm going to lose Cardinalist Spain. Good j Dang it. Good job, Spain. Uh, yeah, this is, one of those, this is one of those times where I say like, I don't. I should care how much they're giving up and how much I, I should actually care and try to intervene in this. But like, that's just way too many rebels for like me personally. And I just think like, well, you know, if the rebels have that much organization to the point where they have basically a bigger army than the actual government, why not let them go take it over? Unless it's like a really important nation where I need to kind of keep me economically stable. Then I probably won't do that. But yeah, seems like our economy is slightly collapsing right now. But then again, it also just bounced back when I did all that kind of stuff. So, it's not really too much of an issue, per se. It's just something I observed. So, let's get some stocks exchanges. Maybe some cigars. Some cigars, people! Some cigars! Okay. okay. Yeah, go go destroy that 25 stack. I don't even know why they got 25 stack of, you know, ton of people trying to fight me. Boy, the Jacobson rebels really should know I do have a more powerful army than they do. At this current point in time, this is like the worst time to attack me. Wait until I'm at war, and then attack me. That is a smart thing to do. And by smart thing, it's a totally not plan you should ever do in any case. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, this is the cool thing about this, is that I could totally go in and go attack him. We shall overcome. Totally go attack him and go try to subjugate them. Uh... Uh, let's just do that. I'm not in a too big of a mood. By the way, how many people are are Jindu, Jinduist right now? Dominant issues right now, Jinduism, moralism. Moralism is really big. All trade unions. Oh, I hate you guys. You guys really want the trade unions? Uh, yeah, I'm not, getting it. I'm not giving it to you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to. But uh, Spain is now back to Spain. There's no more Cardinalist Spain. That's all. I guess that's good because then that means I don't have to deal with as much. But that means I'm going to have to like... We invest points in these guys, so let's start doing that. Huzzah! And the Kniv Canal has been formed! And Venezuela is, I think, closer to being my friend? Yeah, they're very close. In a couple turns, guys, they will be my buddies. 
And Portugal wants an alliance. Sure, we can have an alliance, Portugal. Even though you guys absolutely are useless, we can have an alliance. Okay. And I feel restless right about now. We should be we should be at war with someone. So let's see. What can we do? Uh, no, that's not really worth it. If I could, like, establish a protectorate over the entire place, that would be worth it. But just a little land, and eh, not really worth it. Let's see, John Poor. Ah, you keep forgetting you can't, like, actually... Um, just take the entire province. That's what's kind of annoying me right now, is I'm like, I have to take the entire province? Oh, wait, I can't. Hmm. Annoying. So, what we should probably do is probably go take over some... I guess start integrating some of these African nations over here. Uh, maybe. Actually, what we should probably start doing is probably beat up on the, uh, Santo. And the reason why is because once we get the events of Scramble to Africa, which basically is like a free cause spell against all, uh, all, uh, native troops, well, not native troops, all, uh, non-fighting troops, it basically gives us, uh, it basically gives us, like, um, free cause of spell so we can declare war, but it does not give us a full cause of spell to annex everyone, it only gives us a cause of spell to annex, like, um, you know, small little segments of the land so maybe we could take some land right now from the uh from the Sakanto just so we could stop a pain somebody went to war with me ha what what wait what wait what, 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 what what's happening here French war of Pinmont freedom shoot so Pinmont wants to fight me yeah, you know, this is why I kind of want to destroy you guys so badly in earlier games. But yet this time I was like, you know, they're not worth my trouble. I'm not even going to try to fight them. But what do they want again? Because... Hmm. They want this land, I know that. But, let's see, who am... Let's see, I know France is basically the big guys. Yeah, even with that alliance, I don't think I'm going to be able to succeed. If I had... Oh, gosh, dang it. Why did you do that, Spain? You guys canceled your alliance just... Oh, gosh. Oh, man. You canceled your alliance just as I needed you. Who can I remove from the sphere? Wait, if they're in my sphere, why are they not in my sphere? What? Wait. So, they're in my sphere right now. Yes. By all counts of the game, the game says they're in my sphere, but from my own perspective, I don't think they are. Okay. So, anyways, guys, on a, that was just a side note. Uh, what we have to start thinking about is now an actual war between us and France. So, uh, Rebels, uh, please don't spawn for, like, the next, like, 15 minutes. I'm going to need to, like, fight an actual war here. And by actual war, I mean an actual war. Okay, it seems like we also have... Hey, we actually have troops down here in, in Africa, so we can actually do something down here. All right, let's go actually start beating up some some little, like, Frenchy armies. Hey, no, 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 Frenchy armies. Come back here. Come back here, Frenchy armies. We, we're we going to go beat you up. We're going to... No, 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 no. Move troops right there. Wait, combine troops, then move right there. Okay, we're going to go beat... Guess we're going to basically conquer all this part, and then we're going to start dealing with other stuff. Let's see, is there any, like, armies we have to deal with over there? Nope. Um... This, strangely enough, strangely enough, all right, French, okay, Brazil, if you guys can't handle French over here, I'm going to be really shocked, okay, um, other places we're going to have to deal with France, I probably don't really have any colonies over here, so I don't really have to care about that over there, uh, Germany, I don't really care about Germany, so Germany can go, Germany-ish stuff, okay, mobilize, let's go, let's get into this, because now we have to actually fight this war, which become genderless, that's fine with me. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I completely forgot that we also have to fight the Pope now. Oh gosh, we have to fight the Pope. Who? In what universe would this, like, actually happen? No offense, but, like, I'm not exactly a warmongering person, so... I want to know what universe they're thinking that this would actually happen. And France, why did you do that? I was trying to really become friends with you. Like, I was really pushing for that friend's, that friend's thing. Okay, you guys sit right here. We have to, I have to first wait until all the French move in. Because, okay, I'm probably going to hold the line, like, right about here. Okay, 
And yes, you guys are probably wondering, wait, James, you're just going to hold the line? Yes, I realize many times from my experience in Victoria 2 that the best strategy, especially when you're dealing with a more powerful nation than you, is to just hold the line and, hey, no, 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 no. I can actually control your units, so you guys get to actually be under control by me. And no, you guys are not charging in. You guys are going to sit right here and you guys are going to like it. Okay, but yeah. Um, since I actually... Since there's not really much I have to, Okay, let's see. How many troops do they have? They have four, eight... Okay, so they have about 14 heavies. With my Greek population... Alright, we might be able to fight them. Ah, oh, we definitely would be able to fight them if I could actually get my other forces out. Alright. But, as you guys can see, this is probably an insanely big army. On all accounts, this is going to be a hard-fought fight. But with our level 2 forts, which I'm glad I got, to all the people who thought that we're not gonna pay, I was not going to actually use them. Look, this is a good situation to use them. Um, we're basically going to hold the lines in good mountainous terrain in almost every single region. Uh, by all accounts, this should be, except for right here, this should be really good land. Um, hilly farmland, hilly farmland. And this isn't the greatest... But we can live with this. Okay. So, there we go. Um, I'm going to quickly go get these guys out and go send them over here. There we go. There's a decent size. Oh, we're going to fight. We're totally going to fight this out. I want to see this. Yeah, yeah, okay. They're charging at me. That's good. That's, that's probably the worst idea by the AI, by the way. To charge at you when you're about even strength. Especially when you have reinforcements. All right. So, what that means, though, at the same time, is that we're probably going to need to get militaristic tactic. Militaristic tactics is actually more important in this game than anything else. So, let's get that in there. That should turn the tide of that battle. Okay, that's going to win. Okay. You guys, get right here to be basically support groups. Um, my ship should be able to make it back to port pretty safely. And then, from there, what we're going to do is we're just going to deal with a massive French army. While we crush their other army in Africa. Yeah, look at that. Crushing them in Africa is not very difficult. Especially when they do stupid tactics like that. Group up our army. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we have... The good thing about our army, though, is that we are pretty powerful. Like, our army is not something to be joking about. I mean, we do have a small number of it, but we do have such good, high-quality units that... You guys know what I mean. You know that saying of qual quanti quality beats quantity? I think that basically applies here. Add the sphere. I don't really care about that region. They're not... If, if anything, I was going to conquer that region later. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. You guys, don't you dare move from your spot. Okay. All you guys not on hunting rebels mode right now. Good. Okay, that would be detrimental if you guys were to go in and go to hunt rebels mode. Because we'd most likely, and I guarantee this, we'd most likely lose everything. Okay, so don't do that. You guys, right here. Go right there. Alright, you guys. You guys made it to the ships. Alright, we got 12 ships. That should be good enough to fight whatever is on the Sea of the Mediterranean. We should be able to control the Mediterranean, so that means they won't be able to land any, like, units. Um, break off, like, a small section of units. We don't need to keep everyone here. Just go... Just go keep that siege going for a little bit, just so we can start it. Yeah, the Frenchies over here are basically all dead. If I must be honest with you, now we got a good... Now we got some good land that we're going to go steal from them eventually. We just have to crush these, uh... Frenchies. Ah, dang. They just... Okay, just hunt them down all the way over here. If they, if they keep going, we'll hunt them down over here. Alright. Oh, shoot. Alright. Yeah, we have to pay attention. Okay, this is where, this is where like... Major tactics and stuff like that really does pay attention. And where the greatest Victoria 2 wins usually come about is when the AI doesn't know how good you can defend yourself. Okay? Like, the main thing you have to make sure here is that if you do combine lines, you combine them in a good logical fashion. Uh, I don't really care. Just whatever you want to do, Baden. I don't really care. This isn't really the time for that. Okay, so obviously they're investing more troops into this into this battle, so I better go invest more troops into my battle. Okay. Go send yeah, I'm sending out a ton of troops. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, this is this is basically gonna be a battle of the century right here. 
Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, go send in as many troops as we can. Just keep on, just keep, actually, I need to keep, like, troops right here. Just keep the troops coming in. Um, yeah, once we're all done over here, I'll go send these troops to actually go help out with the, uh, invasion. Mm-hmm. All right, and for all intents and purposes, go hunt, go hunt down these ships. Because I want to make sure if we could destroy some of the ships now, this would be really nice. Uh, Greece, apparently not in my sphere anymore, which is kind of annoying. Uh, oh wait, no, no, I just have maximum influence with them. So let's see, who do I want to? Oh, we move, yeah, we move them from the UK sphere. I don't like that. Why are they in the UK sphere? I have no clue. Okay, um, we're gonna win this battle right there. There is no way. My forces were the defending force. We had the upper advantage. Ooh, actually, now they're actually forcing in everyone. All right, then we're actually gonna force in everything we got. Cause right now we have the uh, we have the advantage. If we must be honest with ourselves, we have the advantage. All right, go send in these guys right here. Try to block up all holes in our line. Cause we don't. We're just basically holding out until we can actually go in and go fight them. All right, break them, please. Also, break these guys. Like, seriously. Come on, guys. Break them. Like, seriously. It's not that hard. Oh, you guys are attacking the mountains. That's not going to work for you guys. I guarantee it. Okay. Dang. But at the same time, I, there, there is this little thing called... You can't always win these fights sometimes. Um, That should lose, though, for them. Especially since I'm attacking in mountains. Defense plus bonus. No, it seems like I'm going to be crushed. <sighs> All right, you know, screw it. We we can't win this. Let's get this. Let's get this fight done with while we still, while we still have it into dignity. <sighs> Makes me so mad right now, but I can't. My army's not big enough right now to do anything, and it makes me kind of stupid mad. I can't actually fight other world power nations. Like, that's just annoying. Ah, uh, I would have had that too. All right, you know what? We're gonna start encouraging soldiers. Like this is starting to become an annoying piece. This this has become actually a big issue. I never thought I would actually ever say this about man conscription, but we actually have a big issue right now. Cause after this, I'm probably gonna have to deal with about a couple different rebels spawning in my country. And yeah. You guys, come back to main, mainland. Alright, I don't know what my economy is doing. Just, just tax a little bit. I'm going to have to go back up to high taxes. Probably 43. 43. Yeah, that's probably where I have to go. Alright, and over here, let's go see. I do have a... I do have a cause bill against these guys until 1866. Okay, I have two years to get stuff done. Okay. Um, yeah. We're gonna. What we're basically gonna do is we're gonna go send some of our men down there to go fight the uh, the Santo, and we're basically gonna take like a little region from them, and then from there we're gonna go fight more. But yeah, now I'm actually now I'm actually pretty mad because. That should not happen, especially at this point in the game. That should not happen. I mean, we're losing. That was basically like losing. That was losing more than just badly. That was losing exponentially badly. And now, and now they hate me. Both Germany and France hate me. So that's good to note. And most likely, Sardinia is probably going to become the next. Uh, great power, so they're gonna probably be annoying even more to the to the point. So that's gonna be fun to deal with. Yeah, it seems like I can't get that entirely great Austria vibe I was trying to go for. Oh my goodness, where did all my plans go? Okay. Oh, and now you want to ally in Spain? That probably would have been helpful like a couple of minutes ago when, like, I needed you to fight and you would have probably made a difference. Like, I had basically my... Hmm. Anyways. We did not... Basically, we did not win because of 
because we were out of date technology. We lost because of our stupid militaristic conscription rules, which two years is not good. You always need mandatory conscription. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.